going on, family? And we back. And today we gonna talk about clout, the new drug, clout, clout chasing, clout tokens, whatever these little dudes out here calling it, man. I've been watching a lot of videos. You feel me? Like, you know, I love YouTube. I've been watching YouTube for a minute. That's one of the reasons I decided to do this YouTube thing because. I've been watching it so long and keeping up with the information so long that I felt like like I should just start me a channel, you know? So, but honestly, the first time I ever heard the word clout was probably in about 2012. And I ain't saying they originated this word, but it's my first time hearing it was from FBG Duck, Flyboy Gang. Uh, Lord J, Free Lord J, Clout Lord, and basically all the Chicago dudes from St. Lawrence. Now, did a lot of people steal the word and run with it? Definitely. You feel me? Like, people like Drake was taking their dances, you know what I mean? Taking the words, you know, a lot of people say Clout now, but my first time hearing it was the Clout Boys in Chicago. And I'm glad Duck finally got his recognition and finally got his record deal. So salute to him. But I've been watching what's going on. I seen the uh, Rico Reckless situation and with the other dude, 100K, um, I think it's 100K Tuck. And you know what I mean? When bro approached him in the gas station, act like he was a fan, then pulled the pistol out on him and all that. And Reckless pulled off or whatever. Then Reckless turned around and leaked the video saying that he was snitching and all that. Now, I was going to do all that footage and put all that stuff up, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I don't know. If you look at my backdrop and I got it up, that means I changed my mind. But I don't know if I'm going to put that footage up because I just want to talk about clout in general. Please don't be stupid, man. Don't be out here chasing clout, trying to get a name for yourself. Because at the end of the day, clout can't buy you no house. Can't buy you no cars. You, it might get you Instagram followers. It might get you YouTube subscribers. It might even get you some little decent chicks to smash or whatever. If you a dude, you know what I mean? If you a girl, it might, you know, get you a couple dollars from these dudes out here. But I'm 31, you feel me? And I know a lot of other older people that's looking like, man, what's going on? Like, I heard dudes saying, like, yeah, like, you do this, so if you get away with this, you get this amount of clout tokens, and like, what's going on, bro? Like, is that like the new form of currency or something? Like, clout tokens, you feel me? Like, everybody chasing clout, man. And it's like, what happened to the days of chasing money? Like, I'm an old soul, you feel me? I remember, like, the guys that raised me and the people I grew up around. It was all about money, fly cars, clothes, and moving in silence for one. Everybody wanted to move in silence. Ain't like nobody want nobody to know how much money they had. Ain't nobody want nobody to know what they was doing out here in the streets. Ain't nobody want nobody to know what females they was with. Ain't nobody want nobody to know basically nothing about them, where they lived at, nothing. But now it's the complete opposite with Instagram, social media, and all that. Everybody wants you to know how much money they got, the last pair of shoes they bought, what girl they smashing on, where they live at what part of town they on, where they going on vacation at. And it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, you know what I mean? That's why a lot of people getting killed. That's why it's a lot going on. That's why it's a lot of beef going on, you feel me? The internet can be a wonderful thing if you use it for the right reasons. You know, Instagram is free publicity. You know, it's free promotion, you know what I mean? YouTube, you can become a success and you can talk to the people from all over and you can meet and network and you know do your thing and get stuff off your chest but if you use this the right way you won't put yourself in a situation that's fact you feel me because everybody's chasing clout that's the thing to do that's what everybody's doing it's like clout 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 everybody on that everybody want to have clout everybody want to be the man everybody want to be the top guy I just want my little piece of the pie, you feel me? I just want to be happy. I want subscribers, you feel me? Everybody who started YouTube channel wants subscribers. I want Instagram followers, but for the right reasons, to push my movements, to push my brands, to talk to the people, to really 
you know, network and meet people. I don't care about no clout. I don't care about none of that, you feel me? And there's a lot of rappers out here, for one, that's out here on that. But not even the rappers. I mean, you got to thank the youth and some, not even the youth, some people that ain't in the right state of mind, they do what these rappers do. They feel like everything they say is real. So you got everybody out here running behind clout. Oh, I need the clout. Oh, I got the clout. I'm, I'm clouded out. You feel me? Like, the thing about it, the dudes who created it, or, you know, like I said, I know they probably created it. Like, it's probably in the dictionary or whatever. But the first time I heard it, you know what I mean? I feel like they got a right to that word. They got a right to keep using that word. They got a right to keep getting clout because they started it. You feel me? But I just want everybody to know, man, like, it ain't worth it. Like when Shorty put that gun in Rico face and I seen that video, I'm like, why, wow, bro? Like, why? Wow. I went back and checked out Shorty videos, you feel me? 100K uh, Tuck or whatever. And he popping. Like, that's what I'm saying. You already popping. You already hot. You already steaming. You already about to get your deal. Like, why do that? You feel me? And Rico, why I go back to the gas station, bro? This man went back to the gas station where this dude just whipped out on him at. And posted up now if they would have slid and then went live if they would have slid back up and they was really on that and they would banged you up it would have been another rapper gone behind trying to trying to get some clout tokens back because he felt like he lost something and dude up the gun on him. at the end of the day bro don't let none of that move y'all get your bread bro like I ain't gonna say in a stunt though, you know what I mean? I ain't saying it's cool for nobody to put no gun in nobody face, you feel me? Like at the end of the day, like I don't condone that at all, but at the end of the day, when you got something to lose, that's when you get tried the most. That's when God takes you through the most tests. So to Rico Reckless, man, and all these little rappers, man, don't let these dudes trick y'all out y'all spot, especially if you hotter than them. Or you've been doing it longer than them, or you more relevant than them, because it's all a game. Everybody looking for the next come up. Everybody looking for the thing that's gonna make them go viral, or, or get them a million views, or get them a million subscribers, or get them a million followers. You see what I'm saying? Everybody looking for that one thing, bro. It's a fight, bro. They up a gun on somebody, bro. They kill somebody on live. You got dudes killing people on live, shooting at people and stuff like that. And my thing about it, man, these dudes be having kids, be having families, like, man, I can only imagine, like, my wife would cuss me the hell out if I was out here on that type stuff, man. Y'all need some real women behind y'all, bro, or something, bro. You need somebody in your corner, whether it's a manager, whether it's just a real friend, a real homie. That's why I be wondering, like, who these dudes got behind them that be telling them it's okay? Like, Takashi 69 like a couple of these other rappers that be doing certain things, that be doing these antics and putting their life in jeopardy and really playing with fire. A real homie or a real girl or a real friend gonna tell you like, bro, it ain't worth it, bro. We already made it. We passed that. Let's get out of here. I remember Bunk Gang, Bunk Gang, Bunk Gang, whole lot of gang shit, the little dude that used to take the stuff and run up. Boom. One thing I respected about Shorty, he was doing that for a reason. All the stuff he did, all the stealing and running from these places and all that, even though a lot of that stuff, he told them people what he was gonna do and they just let him because it's all a gimmick. He a rapper, so he did that, went viral. That way when he came out with rap and his rap songs and his videos, he already had a following. So he had a calculated step in his mind of how he was gonna do this and do these things. So I commend Shorty for that, even though I ain't really heard too much else from him. Last thing I seen, he got ran up on in the mall. Somebody trying to get clout, trying to fight him. I'm glad he walked away. But yeah, man, like, man, y'all, man, one thing about it, man. I don't wish I was in nobody's shoes because you never know what a person got to go through. That's another thing. Y'all stop idolizing the wrong people, you feel me? You can say, man, I wish I had that kind of money. Oh, man, I wish I had that car, but you don't know what this person going through to keep that image up. They might, they might got a whole nother thing going on that, that's deeper than music that we don't know. These dudes be signing these contracts, man. They might got it now, but in 10 years, you might be working your regular nine to five and have more than them in 10 years because a lot of these dudes be getting stripped by these record labels. You hide for two, three years, you make some money, then they take everything from you. Now you out here trying to figure it out. So man, y'all don't be chasing these rappers, chasing clout, none of that. Stay in your lane, you feel me? Stay in your lane. 
you know what I mean? My people's always told me, don't never be jealous of nobody, because you don't know what they went through to get what they got. You know what I mean? Everybody want their piece of the pie, but it's ways you can get yours, you feel me? You ain't got to go out here and punch nobody in the face and record it and put it on YouTube. You ain't got to go out here and shoot nobody. You ain't got to go out here and rob nobody. It's to the point now, you got dudes that ain't even about that life. That's out here trying to get clout. That's out here trying to do things. You got grown ass men out here fighting kids, doing stupid stuff, shooting at kids, trying to get clout. Everybody want clout. I don't want the clout, you feel me? Of course I want respect because I'm a man, I'm a grown man. Of course I want money because I got a family to feed. You know what I mean? Of course I want a, a comfortable life for me, my wife, and my kids. And that's what it's about. Clout, I don't care nothing about. It don't mean nothing to me. It, it, it don't move me, it don't excite me, it, it's none of that. And I feel like it come a time in your life that I pray a lot of these dudes get to when you start realizing that stuff don't mean nothing. If they live long enough, you feel me, like some of these dudes gonna get older and they gonna be like, damn, I was a lame, or I was a clown back then. You gotta be real with yourself. It's times I look back at certain things, I was like, damn, that was a clown ass move I did. You see what I'm saying? You gotta be real with yourself. When you grow up and you realize what life really about, it start, you start taking things a lot more seriously and moving a lot more differently and realizing life's short, bro. Life's short. We can be took any day, bro. And a lot of these dudes ain't got life insurance. They ain't got no house. They ain't got nothing. You feel me? Like, my main focus is to leave something to my kids, leave them a business, leave them a house, leave them some cars, leave them some land. Leave them some money so they ain't got to go through the struggles I went through coming up. And that's what it's about, bro. Not clout. Yeah, especially to you dudes that got kids, bro. Because you go out here chasing this clout. Or go out here trying to get back at one of these dudes you feel like played you. And then you get killed. Or you kill them and you mess your whole life up. My main thing, y'all got to do the 50-50 thing, bro. When something happens, when a thought go through your mind, anything happen. Think about it, you weigh your pros and cons. Pros, say you won't rob a bank. Pros, you get away with it. You get 40, 50 thousand dollars, which you gonna blow through in a minute. Cause people think that's some money, it's a decent, but it really ain't no money you can blow through that. You scrape for a couple months, you feel me, depending how you spend. Uh, you hit some bad shit, you go to strip club, blah, blah, blah. That's the pros. Now think about the cons. The police catch you while you're doing it, shoot you, you dead. You get 25 years in prison, you're away from your family, your son, daughter go to the streets because you want a part of their life. They get killed, something happened to them, or they kill somebody. Now you got that blood on your hands because you put yourself in a position to go to prison or do something stupid. You go in there to rob a bank, these people don't give you the money, you kill a bank teller. You go on a high speed chase with the police, you kill an innocent bystander. You don't get the money, or they got a die pack in the money, and even though you get away, you ain't got no money to spend because the die pack blew up. Now, I said the pros and the cons, and it's a lot more cons. It's more cons than pros, so that right there should let you know don't rob a bank, you feel me? And I feel like it's the same thing with these situations, bro. You gotta weigh your pros and cons. I ain't saying let nobody play you, you feel me? If somebody put their hands on you, or if somebody do something crazy or harm your family, you got a right to go all out, full fledged, on go 100%, cause I do the same thing, you feel me? But when I was 15, 14, you know, when I was out there, turned up, I got locked up at 17, so you know, I, I had to grow up quick. But, you know, we did a lot of things that I look back on, like, why, even what I went to prison for, and I'm going to share that with y'all in a later episode, I'm going to give y'all my my rundown so y'all can know who y'all listening to. I ain't going to be like these other YouTubers. I'm going I'm to explain to y'all where I come from, what I've been through, and that's what's going to separate me, because I'm going to give y'all the real. Y'all going to know me. I'm going to have a intimate relationship with my subscribers. Not intimate, like, touching y'all, but you see what I'm saying? I want y'all to know me. I want to know y'all. I want to really conversate. I want to go live when I get a hundred. Uh, I think when I get a thousand subscribers, I can uh, get the live button and I can go live with y'all. And I'm going to go live just doing regular stuff, talking to my kids, eating dinner. Because I want an intimate conversation and relationship with y'all. That's what this is about to me. 
It's about me reaching the people, reaching my people, and you know, sharing my story, and you know, pushing these movements, and you know, it's it's a movement, you feel me? But I just had to do this video on clout, because I was like, it's a new drug. It really is, bro. Like, you got people out here that's just chasing clout. Like back, like coke in the A's, like crack in the A's, like they chasing clout. Everybody want to be somebody. Everybody want to go viral. Everybody want to be a star. Everybody, ain't nothing wrong with that. My Lord knows ain't nothing wrong with having dreams and ambitions. If you ain't dreaming, you ain't living. But it's the way you go about doing things. A lot of you dudes talented, man. You talented. You ain't got to do nothing else but use your talent. All that other stuff, you ain't got to do. You ain't got to do it, bro. You ain't got to do it. Even like the BET Awards, even though I ain't catch it. And I was going to do a video on this, but it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't even worth my time. Nipsey Hussle slapped the security guy. Now, I don't know what the story or situation was behind it. But, bro, you a grown ass man, Nip. Like, you grown, bro. Like, you could have gave that man a pass, you feel me? If he ain't put his hands on, he might try to play him to the left. Act like he ain't know who he was or something like that. But, man... It be so much wild stuff going on for real. Like if I updated y'all on everything that's going on, y'all would be, I had probably a million videos. There'd be some subjects I want to touch bases on, but some stuff I don't even touch because for one, I stay in my lane. For two, I know it's other YouTubers that got certain platforms that I even look at. Shout out to Relatable Oddball. Shout out to um, Chicago World News. Um, shout out to Zay Esco, you know what I mean? It's a lot of dudes, if I missed anybody, I listen to a lot of YouTubers, like I'm subscribed to them, but y'all go subscribe to them, man, and follow them. That's another thing, man, in this community, in this YouTube community, and in the world, period. Start showing love to people, man. If I got 50,000 subscribers, and you an upcoming YouTuber, and I like your content, and I like you as a person, Bro, it don't cost me nothing to give you a shout out. Nothing. It ain't gonna hurt my views. It ain't gonna hurt my subscribers. It's gonna glow you up. And then when you glow up, you gonna come back and show me the same love. You gonna have a whole different fan base than me. It's one hand wash the other, both wash the face. That's how I grew up. That's how I was raised. But these dudes out here really tweaking though. They really tweaking, man. Like, don't nobody wanna show love to each other. Everybody's selfish. Everybody for self. Everybody out here, like, just on some different type of time, man. And that's how come, like, our community and, you know, African Americans, we can't get far. Like, white people help each other out, they look out for each other. Like, we sit here, man, and we go against the grain, we go against each other. We be like, man, F that nigga, man. Like, I ain't giving him no shout out, or I ain't showing love to him, or I ain't doing this. And even if you offer to pay some people, they still just don't want to see you. They might feel like you a threat to their brand or a threat to them because they know you a lot more, you a lot more solid. Not solid like you would beat them up or nothing, but your, your story and your your backline and when you coming with it, it ain't, it ain't about the clout. A lot of people out here, like I said, they chasing the clout. They doing fake stories. They, they doing click baits. I ain't did none of that yet, and I don't plan on doing none of that. You see what I'm saying? So it's all solid. It's all 100. You feel me? And um, I just want y'all, man, to focus on the right things in life, man. Like, focus on taking care of your family, raising your kids. Um, man, buy your mother a house, you feel me? I, I rock with FBG Duff. He bought his mother a Rolls Royce, you feel me? And I'm sure he bought a house if he bought a Rolls Royce. And when Reckless went on his block on 63rd in St. Louis and posted up the video on Chase Band, shout out Chase Band, y'all go subscribe to him. On Chase Band show, uh, FBG Duck buying his mother a Rolls Royce. So his response to Rico going to post it up on his block was like, nigga, buy your mother a Rolls Royce. Buy your mother something, like do something for your family. And that's real, bro. That's how you know somebody who really wanted, who really been out there, who really came from nothing, man, because he hungry. He understand how hard it was for him to come out the hood, how, how many homies he lost. He lost his brother a couple months ago. He lost his cousin, he lost his homies, he just lost another homie. So when you realize that, and you really like, damn, like, when you came from that, bro, you appreciate it so much more, and you ain't worrying about the clout no more. He probably used it as a gimmick to get his name out there and come up. 
trust and believe he ain't worrying about the club no more. Bro signed a deal for what, like 1.5 million? He good, he Gucci, and he waited his turn. He ain't hate on nobody. He ain't do nothing, you feel me? I rock with FBG Duck. Shout out that boy, man. But yeah, man, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. That was one video that I just had to get off my chest. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I hope y'all subscribe, man. I hope y'all feel in the content. There's gonna be a lot more content coming soon, you feel me? We gonna touch a lot more avenues. We gonna do a lot more stories. We gonna do a lot more things, man. I appreciate your time. Like, I appreciate everybody that watch my videos, you feel me? I appreciate the support, I appreciate the love, you feel me? And it's real, like, I didn't even think I was gonna make it to 100 subscribers. We almost at 300, man. I just wanna keep it going, and I appreciate everybody, cause I know you could be doing anything else or watching anybody else, I understand that. I ain't gonna never go in the comments and go at one of my subscribers and lean on them and say nothing crazy. I ain't gonna sit here and act like you gotta watch me. I'm a very humble dude, you feel me? I'm humble, you feel me? I appreciate it, and I hope y'all stay tuned. We got a lot coming up, man. We got giveaways coming up, but y'all be safe out here. Take care of y'all family, man. Forget clout, man. But I want y'all thoughts and opinions on this. Is clout the new drug? What's going on? Why everybody want the clout? Where my old school dudes at, you feel me, that know about the old school lifestyle? When dudes ain't even want you to know their name, what about that? What about that? When you meet a dude and he tell his name John John, and his name really Tony or Mike, people ain't even want you to know their name because people was really out here doing things and making moves to support their family. And they thought a lot smarter. They thought about everything. You know what I mean? When a the dude ain't want you to know, you remember turning your back when you counted your money? Now people pinned it on Instagram. People holding rats up to their head. Like I remember turning my back in the store counting my money, but that ain't what everybody on right now, so it's different, man. I come from a different generation. I was raised by some old heads, man, so it's a lot different, man, but make sure to tap that notification bell, man. We update every week. I can't give you an exact day or day, but every week it definitely will be an upload. You know, we definitely gonna talk to y'all every week, man, so be sure to subscribe. Trying to get up to that 1K so we can get that live button so we can start going live. And like I said, I appreciate y'all, man. Be sure to subscribe. I love y'all, fam. It's your boy Tony two times. Leave your comments below about this clout thing. Is it a drug? What's wrong with everybody? What's going on today? I appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. Thanks to everybody for watching. It's your boy Tony two times. I'm out, fam.